Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a little bit of a different video. I think it's going to be pretty fun. But today I'm going to be renaming Jeffree Star lipsticks. Now, I think lipstick names are like pretty cool. Like really cool. Sometimes better than the actual lipstick themselves depending on the brand and formula. But I just love the name of lipsticks and nail polishes and everything like that. So today I'm going to be renaming some Jeffree Star lipsticks for you. Of course, this is nothing against what they're actually named because they all have really... Well, most of them have pretty good names, but this should be fun, so let's get into this video. So before we get started, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. I'd really appreciate it. And I put out five videos a week. So you always have something new to watch. Let's dive right on in. I have a little bit of notes right here in case I forget anything. <laughs> but the first color I'm going to start off with is Virginity. It is this pastel pink, beautiful color. And I say that we rename this the color Femme because it's so light, so pastel-y, princess-y, beautiful. And I think Femme would be a really cool matching name to it. The next color is um, Venus Flytrap, and I say that we rename this Death Drop because it's so shocking, so in your face, and like, it would scare someone to death probably if you saw them walking around with it. It's really fun. I have not wait to use this like a cool eyeliner look, but Venus Flytrap, let's rename it Death Drop. Next color I have here is Gemini, and this is such a cool, everyday, fun color that I say we rename it Relatable. Now, people love those Relatable posts online, and I think a good everyday lip color is so important. Something you can really relate to everyone wearing. So, Gemini, Relatable. Next color that I have here is Weirdo. It is the pitch black, blackest of blacks color, and we should rename this Poe, because Edgar Allan Poe is such a dark, beautiful Poets, that this is a dark, beautiful color. We should rename it Poe. Next color here is Hunty. I wore this color for the first time the other day because of my review of the Silmar Collection, which will be linked down below. I didn't really like it on me, but wearing it with like a nice black dress and some really cool toned colors on my eyes, it really felt cool and I felt kind of like a cult dream. So I am renaming oh, Hunty. Sahara, like the Sahara Desert, or Sahara Davenport, which was a drag queen, but she unfortunately passed away. Next we have here is Leo, named after Jeffrey's boyfriend. This is Mink now. I'm going to name this Mink because the color is a cute little animal, and Mink is such a good thing, or not a good thing, Mink is such a popular thing in makeup where it's faux, think, faux mink lashes. I don't recommend using real ones because that's kind of cruel, but like the mink effect lashes or something that's really big, and that is the color of mink, so makeup stuff. <laughs> Next color we have here is another chrome collection one. This is Butt Naked, and I say we're going to name this Synth, since synths are such a big thing in Hollywood right now. TV shows everything with the show Westworld and Humans, and Synth, such a nice pastel everyday color, and the color that you see on mannequins and fake models and stuff and robots so uh synth and I think that one's actually pretty good I'd love to see a lipstick named synth next we have here is a masochist masochist is like a red pink so I say that we rename this 18 let's rename this one 18 it's such a nice cool fun adult color and since 18 is the age of being an adult, but it's so fun and useful still, let's call it Masochist 18. I was never really a fan of that name, that lipstick, but I think it's pretty cool still. Next color we have here is Flamboyant. Flamboyant's another chrome one, and I really like this color. I think it's so pretty. Now, it's not exactly kiss-proof. Something about the formula is not completely kiss-proof, but it's still really pretty. And I say we call this one sachet. I think it's such a fun, bright color. And whether you're sacheting away or to you, either way, I think it'd be a cool name. Next color we have here is Abused. It is a navy blue 
awesome mysterious lip color and I think we should call this one dagger because it just shoots at you it's like so dark and it's so different because you think it's black in certain lightings but then you look at it in light and it's blue and I think it's really cool and I think that'd be a really cool name for it. Next one is I'm Royalty. Now this color is so beautiful. I love it. I've had it since it came out so it's starting to dry out a little bit but that's okay. Um, and I say that we rename this one Expensive Taste because isn't this such an expensive looking color? I even typed in Google like Royal Purple and such gorgeous lavish things came up like those gilded egg things. It just looked so cool. Next color here is one of my favorite lipsticks ever. This is Doll Parts <laughs> and Doll Parts should be renamed Rubber Doll. I also thought about Moan because Pheromone loves this color so much. But I think um, Rubber Doll would be a really good name for it. Next color here is a metallic. This is Pussy Whipped. Oh my gosh, it's a scandalous name, I know. But I have like a list down here. I'm sorry if I look down, it looks weird. Pussy Whipped, I said, should be named Champagne and Potato Chips. So if it's like a cool champagne-y color, but it's got like a little bit of yellow hint to it too. And in the seven year itch with Marilyn Monroe, which is the most glamorous human ever to live, she talks about champagne and potato chips, and it's real crazy, isn't it? So, um, I'm naming this one after her. Next color we have here is I Am Shook. I Am Shook, of course, is from the Manny Emmy Way collaboration, and I say we rename this one Fame because it's such a glamorous, muted red color without being in your face. Also, I love Miss Fame, the drag queen. So I think Fame is a good name for this one. Because it's bright, but it's not super glamorous. Because I don't think being famous is as glamorous as people say it is. Next have uh, next color is Mannequin. Mannequin is one of my favorite nudes. And I say that we rename this Wet. I think it's pretty <laughs> sexualized. And you can make this lip color, this subtle lip color, so sexy, so beautiful by doing a really, really bold eye and then like a super soft lip. So I think wet's a pretty good name for it. Next is another one of my favorite lipsticks. This is Chrysanthemum. I wish this thing would come back for permanent collection. But I say rename this Fantasy because I feel like I'm always living my beautiful girly fantasy when I wear this lipstick. It has like a little bit of gold shimmers in here. It's a light baby pink and it's just beautiful fantasy color. Next lipstick is Designer Blood, also, you know, connected to Unicorn Blood, which looks exactly like this one. I say that we rename Designer Blood Fatale. So the first lipstick I showed you was Femme, which was Virginity, and now Designer Blood is Fatale. Because look at the beautiful contrast between these two. I think Femme and Fatale will be great names for these. And the last color I have here is Prom Night, which is like the neon pink, one of the classic Jeffree Star lipsticks, and I say we rename this Pop. It's like a beautiful bubblegum. The last lipstick that I forgot to bring in this room that I think we should rename is Daddy from the Je Jeffree Star and Mandy Emmy Way collaboration, and I say we call that one Cult Dream, because it is such a beautiful cult dream color, and when I was reviewing that collection, I felt like it was a beautiful cult dream in that lipstick. And I love it. Now, I used to hate it. I used to think it looked so terrible on me, but now I'll keep wearing it and think I'm like, oh my god, I feel like I'm in a cult dream. So let's rename that one that. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This thing was totally just for fun. I don't if you guys have any cooler ideas for names of colors, or if you want to see the rest of my lips Jeffree Star lipsticks renamed, I only picked about half of them. I can of course do the other half for you. Hope you all have an awesome day wherever you are. And I hope you guys enjoy my videos. I put out five videos a week, and I will see you guys on the next one. I will leave a couple links down below about me lip swatching 37 Jeffree Star lipsticks, my review of the summer collection, and a couple other links like that. So check them out if you want to. Bye, guys.